Most Oregon counties in the high risk category, the push is on to get more people vaccinated. The thing is, it looks like we could actually soon see more doses headed our way. That's right. Lisa Balick tracking the vaccine efforts. She joins us live. What did you learn tonight, Lisa? Yeah, it's interesting. I found that one large pharmacy chain is offering thousands of appointments over the next few days. Tens of thousands of appointments will be made available for next week. Now, you'll have to get to Salem, but it is a way to get a Pfizer vaccine pretty quickly. This is where Oregon is suddenly getting an influx of vaccine. The state fairground site in Salem has been operating a drive up mass vaccination clinic for months run by Salem Health. But now Safeway Albertson's pharmacy is joining their efforts there. This week uh, we're looking at about a thousand appointments a day and as many as 5000 appointments a day starting next week. But at the fairgrounds it will be Pfizer good for anyone age 16 and up. But these appointments need to be booked through a separate website. We have a link at coin.com. They have appointments available from tomorrow through Saturday and thousands more appointments will be showing up for next week. Safeway Albertsons gets its allotment from the federal pharmacy program. It's not part of the state shipment. And they tell me they were asked by the state to provide it at the Salem mass vaccination site. We don't have the capacity to do all of those vaccines in stores. And so something like this allows us to uh, use the doses that we're receiving uh, outside of our stores. But this big influx of vaccine for a mass clinic is in addition to the COVID vaccine shipments going to their individual stores across the state, which are usually Moderna vaccine. Also, when I checked in Southwest Washington, I found lots of availability for appointments at the mass clinics at the Clark County Fairgrounds and the Tower Mall site, also giving out Pfizer from Safeway Albertsons. Now, I did check with the Oregon Health Authority to find out why are they running this down in Salem? Why not put it up here in the Portland metro area? I was told because it's closer for a lot of Clackamas County residents. However, when I just checked the numbers today, the highest numbers are in Washington County and Multnomah County. I'll keep asking about this. But again, if you're looking to get one of those Pfizer shots that are available, a lot of them, go to coin.com. We have the special link that you need to get those shots. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.